D-Day for the much-anticipated nationwide protest against anger and hardship in Nigeria at Ojota in Lagos. In the early hours of the day, it initially looked as if the protesters weren't going to make good their threat. But soon, they began to emerge in small numbers. Around midday, the chants began to get louder as they grew in number. We came to have a protest being scheduled today. Yeah, and uh, to speak the voice of the people and to speak the mind of Nigerians. Are you a member of the Take It Back movement or you're just uh, a, a Nigerian who is supporting the protest? I am a concerned Nigeria who is feeling the pain and the agony of everyone, including myself. And we must make a statement at this particular time to speak to the world and let the world know what we are passing through and what we are facing as a common Nigerian. <laughs> But then a challenge arose. The protesters weren't willing to go into the designated park and would rather remain on the road. Then emerged a small group of dissenting voices of the protest who resulted to subtle threats until they met their march in one of the protesters who insisted that the protest must go on. Ground security patrol was complemented by air surveillance as the protesters remained adamant, blocking a section of the Ketu Ojota Road with their leaders taking turns to address the crowd while some expressed themselves on the sideline. This anger is too much. We need the government to do the needful. End this anger. And this uh, scarcity of uh, food stuff. A tuba of yam costs close to 10,000 naira. Help us to reduce food inflation, reduce general inflation, reduce unemployment, reverse electricity bill, buy electricity tariff back to the normal price. We just suddenly wake up and we see all sort of bad 200 naira, 300 naira for different tariffs. Reverse it. Allow the common man to enjoy their nationality, their happiness being a citizen of Nigeria. These are the few things they can enjoy. Solidarity from unusual quarters as the crowd continue to grow. A situation that will have abruptly ended the day developed when the police team that kept watch over the protest all day advanced towards the crowd. It nearly turned confrontational between the security personnel and the protesters, but reasons prevailed. The police team retreated and the crowd back to their business. Last year, uh, how much are we buying for it? In a fuel producing country. Soon, the day wound up, but not before some words of gratitude from the protesters to the security personnel for keeping watch the entire day. That marks the end of day one of the hashtag and bad governance here in Lagos at the Ganifa Oemi Freedom Park, Nojota. It is not clear how much more the protests will continue, but the protesters have promised to be back here tomorrow to continue making their demands on the authorities. Tokubo, OETG, Arise News, Lagos.